Hi, I'm Heinberg. Good to have you back. I recently saw an Instagram video by music maker extraordinaire Jamie Liddell, where he was using a TR-808 as a drone machine. What he's doing here is running the TR-808 at the highest speed and fading in sounds and pitching them, which makes these awesome drone soundscapes. I've used this technique on the Metasonic's D1000 to great effect, where it really works well. But for some reason, I never tried it out on the TR-606, which I have here. This is probably because this looks very much like a standard drum machine compared to the D1000, which has all these patch points, so it's an experimental music instruments from the start. So I want to see if this technique is applicable to the TR-606, and it will probably be applicable to any other drum machine that can go fast enough. I do know that it works in a DAW, but of course, since a DAW is not analog, there won't be all these beautiful overdrive effects unless you're clipping your converters, which might sound interesting, but probably won't. So first I need to set this up to play the fastest speed possible. I got the tempo all in fast, and I'm gonna set this to two, because that is the fastest that I know it will go. I've already programmed a sound on each of these, so we'll only need to play the mixer to bring in the sounds. I can't tune them, so it probably won't be as varied as in Jamie's video. And one thing that I'm going to do now is I'm going to set the last step to be also the first step, because that results in the fastest retrigger possible. So let's start with a high tom only. So as you can hear, this technique works. All the single sounds blend into one almost continuous sound. 
And especially once you overdrive the internal mixer, there are some interesting results in there. But it's not as extreme as on the Metasonic's D1000. Let me show you how that sounds. pretty brutal already, but the D1000 has a clock in, so it can go much faster. Here I'm using the upper row of the make noise pressure points to send out gates. And the pressure points is triggered by an LFO from make noise maths.
I would consider these sounds face melting. So it works really well on the D1000 and on the TR606 it also works well, but I'm curious about any other drum machines that this technique can be applied to. If you've got examples of that, please post them in the Discord or in the comments or in the subreddit. I'm gonna make a thread to this video there and also in the Discord. If you were wondering why the Naga 4.2 was also running, that is because it A, sounds very nice to record everything through the mic preamps on the Nagra, B, it sounds great on tape, and I'm making a sample pack of the sounds here. So you can get an OP1 set that I made of these sounds and a few loops and the raw sounds from this video, which is all available on my Patreon. So thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye. Jamie Lee Dell has a rather interesting podcast called Hanging with Audiophiles, which you should definitely check out. And not only because he mentions me in there. No, that would not be the main reason. Thanks, Jamie, for your nice words. Bye.